Welcome to our live training session number 32. We're going to get our naturally aspirated Acura RSX fired up and running on our Honda K Pro. We're going to dial in our low cam fuel and ignition timing tables for idle, part throttle, and wide open throttle on the zero degree cam angle tables. We're going to have a lot to cover, so let's jump into this live training session so we can get started. Welcome back to our live training session here with our K24 swapped Acura RSX. In the last video, we created our base calibration file, we uploaded it to our K Pro, we also scaled our throttle position sensor, and now we're ready to fire up our engine and get our tuning process started. Before we do that, I want to do a basic sensor check and turn on our live tuning data. We haven't done that, we haven't talked about that yet. It's going to be very important, it's going to be greatly speeding up our process. So, first things first, let's jump in here and talk about our display here and looking at our basic sensor check so we can make sure this is going to be reading correct. Looking at our display window up top here, we can find engine RPM, that's at zero. So I'm keeling engine off, I don't have my engine actually running right now. The map sensor is showing here a negative 29.9 inches of vacuum. Uh, this should read approximately zero. Now on K-Pro, we're going to find the situation that it doesn't actually display our key on engine off map sensor status. So we don't know if the map sensor is going to be wired correctly or if it's going to be uh, an issue with a scaling problem. Maybe you didn't scale it correctly in your parameter section. Um, we're not going to know, so we have to fire up the engine and see what's going to read. So don't panic when you look at this. If you're used to working with S300 or Flash Pro and you're used to seeing that um, going to showing you the status of a key on engine off, again, you can't, you can't see that on the K Pro. Uh, looking here at engine coolant temp and air temp, we'll find that these are going to be reading um, approximately what the ambient is going to be, or at least the uh, intake air temperature is going to be reading approximately ambient. Right now in the dyno bay, it's showing here about 77 degrees, and we're spot on here at 77. Uh, the engine coolant temperature here is showing 98 degrees. Now, this is reading a little bit warmer. The engine was running a few hours ago, so it has some residual heat in the cooling system. When you go to key on the engine and, and it's cold, so you haven't fired it up at all, we'll find the coolant temp and air temp are probably going to be about the same just for reference sake, this is going to be why it reads a little bit higher. Now our throttle position, uh, we scaled it in the last video, that process is relatively straightforward. So we can see here I'm off the throttle showing 0%, all the way on the throttle showing 100%. So it has that full scale from 0 to 100% and it is reading properly because we have went through. Now if you jumping in here um, and, you, and you're seeing that it's off, go back and scale it, that's going to be found under parameters here. Um, we'll jump in here, parameters under our throttle here, we can see the min and max reading, we have to go and do the read at the closed and open throttle. That should be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, looking here next, we have our cam and cam command. The cam is going to be the actual movement of the cam, and the command of the cam is going to be the actual movement of the cam, and the cam command is going to be where we actually have it targeted in our table here. So whatever we target in our cam command table or the target table, that's going to be what the, the command shows, and the actual movement is always going to be a little bit different, a little bit off, but it should be tracking relatively close within one or two degrees. Uh, looking at the battery voltage, we're seeing 11 and a half volts. So the battery volt's getting a little low. We'll see if it starts up. Hopefully it will. If it does, everything seems fine. Then I'll go ahead and uh, and continue with the process. We might have to jump out and put on a charger. The battery is, is uh, should be reading about 11.812 when you key on engine off. Um, in this case, uh, again, it looks like it might be a little low. Uh, knock count is going to be reading zero. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.